Dog Day is an international celebration of inspiration and creativity. This is a fun one-day celebration that you can implement within your STEM space. After reading the book, The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds, students have the opportunity to create their own very dot that represents them. In today's episode, I will be sharing with you five STEM activities that you can implement in your classroom to celebrate this fun day. Dot Day, as described on their website, is celebrated on September 15-ish. So really, this means you can celebrate on the day of or choose a day in which you want to celebrate creativity, which can really be year-round. I have seen all sorts of posts all over social media over the years, and there are schools who go all out on Dot Day and even celebrate for a full month. Now, these activities are might not take you a whole month to complete. They're fairly simple, but they're also engaging and it can inspire creativity in your own classroom. I tried to choose a variety of things and a variety of medias to help you celebrate that would work best for you and for whatever grade levels you teach. And don't worry, there are going to be a lot of links and resources that I'm going to be talking about in this episode. And I will definitely link all of those in the show notes so you don't have to pause and write them all down. I have done all of that hard work for you. So let's jump in into these five dot day activities. This first activity is augmented reality dots. Now, just to clarify, here is the difference between augmented reality and virtual reality. Augmented reality is seeing things in our world. So it looks like the things are popping up right in front of our eyes on our screen, and it seems like that they are there with us. Virtual reality is when we are entering into a world. So it feels like that we are in that space. So this activity is all about augmented reality and bringing these dots to life and making them pop out on the screen. This activity does require tablets, preferably iPads, and you will download the free app called Quiver. In addition to that, there is a free coloring sheet where students can design their own dot while coloring with markers. And when they scan the dot using the app, it looks Looks like there is a magical 3D sphere that is sitting on the table. This activity is so magical with students and they love it. And it's especially great for those younger grades because there is high engagement and definitely low prep. I recommend for your coloring pages, instead of printing one full dot on one full page, print four to a page and make sure to have extras because kids definitely want to create an extra dot to try out other designs. This is also a great takeaway because students can take their coloring sheet and download the app at home and try it out with their family. The next dot day activity is sidewalk chalk dots. Of course, you're going to read the story before you do all of these activities and take your students outside and have them design a dot that represents them and have them decorate the outside grounds of your school. This is especially great if you teach multiple classes in the day and you can take them to different locations around the building. So by the end of the day, there are colorful dots that are just covering your sidewalks. This activity reminds me a whole lot of the book Aaron Slater Illustrator, where he is designing things in his own way. So if you want another book pairing to the dot, I highly recommend this book as well. This next dot day activity has a couple different options depending on the resources that you have available. This is all about spirograph dots. Spirographs are so beautiful and have so much symmetry and with the way the line curve and using different colors within those designs. You can do this activity by using a free spirograph maker that at the time when I use this with students, I think it's still like this, doesn't require a login. You can just share the link with students. They can choose different colors within the palettes on the computer and then choose different spirograph templates. I think they're called templates. Spirograph templates are those spiky things and create different spirographs within the different kind of symmetry. There's also a really cool video that I found that shows different artists and how they use spirographs within their artwork, which I also recommend adding in that connection. And you can even make this an even more hands-on activity if you have spirograph templates 
in your classroom already. So this is a great math and art connection to teach students about symmetry and how it's used in this artwork and how they could design a fun spirograph to express their creativity. Now with the online version, there isn't a way to technically save the spirographs. So what I recommend is having students take a screenshot and share within a platform that you use in your classroom like Flipgrid, Seesaw, or Google Classroom. The next dot day activity is dot ball launchers. One of my favorite robots to use in the K through five STEM space is the dash robot by wonder workshop. This is not sponsored by them. I'm just recommending this robot. If you are looking to purchase something for your classroom, the dash robot is so much fun. There's a lot of different coding options and you can also purchase the external accessory, which is a ball launcher. This is really a one day activity. The ball launchers are a little bit finicky and it's not really an accessory I use for a ton of different activities, but it's a whole lot of fun and the kids absolutely love it. Set up the ball launchers, download the ball launcher app that connects to the Dash robots and have different cups or a one page target sheet that has different identifiers in STEM that students can relate to. These things can be like, I am a mathematician, I am a creator, I am an illustrator, and those could be the targets that students are launching the ball towards the thing that they are identifying with for the day. I have a whole collection of these made. I actually use these light bulbs with these identifiers in my affirmation station that I actually talked about in the back to school episode of the podcast. So make sure to go back and listen to that episode. But this is a fun way to actually use that same resource with a hands-on and coding activity. For the launcher, there isn't a whole lot of complicated coding. So if you haven't introduced robots or coding within your classroom yet, you can still definitely do this activity. Again, it's a fun one day thing to try. I do like to put students in groups of three and give them specific jobs, which is something I like to do with robots anyway. Before this activity, here are the three jobs that I like to assign in their small group. First, we have the driver and they're the one who is holding the device and tapping the code that will launch the ball. The second is the navigator. They aren't necessarily touching the device, but they're watching the driver to make sure they're using the right code that will launch the ball correctly. And the third job is the retriever, and they're the one, like the name says, who will retrieve the ball wherever the ball lands. They can definitely switch off jobs based on their own decisions, or if you have groups who have a hard time hogging certain jobs, you can set a timer on your screen, and when the timer goes off, that can signify the switch. So a fun coding activity to bring the dot day balls to life. The fifth and final dot day activity that you can try in your classroom is stop motion dots. I absolutely love teaching with stop motion animation. It is a really old filming technique, but it really pushes kids to critically think and problem solve in front of the camera. There really isn't a whole lot of screen time when it comes to stop motion animation. There is so much patience to make the characters and objects move so smoothly in front of the camera. And really it's just a click of a button to put all the pictures together. My favorite app to use for stop motion animation on tablets is just called stop motion. So I will link that in the show notes and there is a paid version. You can get it. You really don't have to have it, but it works a lot better than just having kids take a bunch of pictures, um, all at once and just scrolling through the camera roll. If you're using Chromebooks or laptops, that type of device, there are a couple Chrome extensions that I've played around with before. Or if you could get the Hue document camera, there is actually a whole line of software that goes along with the stop motion animation. For their dot, for this activity, students can use modeling clay, my favorite being the Crayola modeling clay because it's super cheap and it doesn't dry out which is awesome. You can reuse it over and over again, but students can create a dot that will roll into the screen, transform into something that represents them, and then roll off of the screen. So if I were to create my dot, I would of course have a hot pink dot. Duh. You all knew that by now, I'm sure. (laughs) 
I would have a hot pink dot ball that would roll onto the screen, possibly transform into a podcast mic. I could add in other colors. And then it squishes down back into its pink little ball and rolls off the screen. This would be a great way to introduce stop motion animation where it's a pretty easy activity, but will again, will take a lot of patience and collaboration to make it all work. As a recap, here are the five STEM inspired dot day activities that you can try in your classroom. First is the augmented reality dots. Next, the chalk dots. Third, the spirograph dots. Fourth, dot launchers. And fifth, the stop motion animation dots. Again, all of these resources that I mentioned will be linked in the show notes so you don't have to remember them. And if you try any of these in your classrooms, tag me on Instagram at Naomi Meredith underscore. I would love to see how I helped inspire creativity in your classroom. 